Okay, y'all. So first thing first, you want to take your butter out out the pack and put it into the pan, skillet, pot, whatever you want to cook it in. So I just went to the grocery store and this butter, I like to let my butter melt a little bit so it don't take all day in the um, pot or whatever, but we're going to make it work today. And I'm trying to get y'all a close-up picture of B. I'm not making a whole lot. I gotta make this um seasoning stretch. Cause I only bought one pack. So what I'ma do is break this butter up real quick. Like I said, I like to let it melt before I start cooking it so it don't take all day. So I'm going to break this up and let it start uh, melting. Then I will be back. Okay, as you can tell, my butter has melted. So now I'm going to add my special ingredient, which is the purple onions. Oh, I hope I didn't uh, make too much for this little pot. Sometimes I like for my onions to be soft, and sometimes I like to have that little crunch so you can make it however you want to I'm quite sure we all make it a little different but the purple onions make it um, sweeter if you ask me and then I like the color so yeah so I'm gonna turn the heat back up a little bit because I turned it down What is um what is the best butter to use? Let me know. Cause sometimes certain kinds of butter makes my stomach hurt just a little bit. Now that my onions are starting to cook, I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to add some minced garlic. I want to add some um something else to it, but I'm not because I don't want to take away, take away of the um, seasoning pack. So, yeah. So, we're going to stir this up. Y'all, this is so pretty. The onions is purple, and you got the yellow butter. So now, y'all, the grand finale, the seasoning pack. This is my first time using this pack. Usually when I do her sauce, I make it from the um, YouTube version that she did um, a year ago. And I'm not going to use all of this seasoning because I want to save some of it. Some of it. It's the inside. I just opened the pack right here. And this is what it looked like in the inside. I'm trying to give you a good close-up look. This is what it looked like in the inside. And it smells so good. So I'm going to add some seasoning. <coughs> Ooh. Maybe it's spicy. Oh, it might not. Excuse me. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. My onion's still going to have a little crunch to it. Oh, y'all, this smells so good. 
if y'all haven't ordered some of this sauce, please do. Please order y'all some. I'm so excited to taste this sauce. Compared to the um the other version of the sauce. So yeah, I'm gonna let this cook. This smells so good. And I'm gonna add some chicken broth to it. And yes, I got the gray value. Like, I see what she added coke to it. I'm not a big fan of coke, so I'm not gonna add the coke. And I want to say some vinegar. We're just gonna make it plain and simple. So, the seasoning kind of take away the color of the onions, but it's all good. So I'm going to let this simmer for about, I'm going to say 10 minutes because I'm so ready to do part 2 of this video. I just, I can't wait. I got to start pausing it because I got to at least make it 10 minutes so I'm going to let it roll. Y'all keep pausing the video. Y'all, this smells so good, and it looks so pretty. I'm not sure what it tastes like, because this is my first time tasting it. But it looked like it got, uh, it kind of smelled like it got some kind of Italian seasoning in it. Y'all look at this. It's starting to thicken up. That looks so good. And I think the purple onions just make it look 10 times better. I would show my face, but I got a part two coming. I'm going to do the um, Tasha challenge from Steph and Tasha. The, vo <coughs> the volcano, some potatoes challenge I'm going to do. So, I'm going to do it with beloved sauce. So, y'all going to see my face in the next video. So all I used was chicken broth, be love seasoning. Okay, y'all. So this is how the sauce is looking right now. And when I tell you it smells good, it smells so good up in here. My kids in the background talking about how good it smells. So I got about five more minutes left on it and I'm going to bowl it up, then stay tuned for part two of the video. Oh yeah, and if y'all added the, um, the Coca-Cola and the vinegar to it, let me know how it tastes. And maybe with what I got left, I uh, 
try to add that into it. But like I said, I really, I'm really not a fan of Coca-Cola. But just let me know. Okay, I'm about to pour it into my little bowl. And hopefully I don't spill it. Uh-oh. That was an epic fail. Okay, y'all, so I cleaned up my mess a little bit. And I poured it into the bowl, and this is how it came out. It looks and smells good, and I can't wait to try it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and share my videos. And it's hard recording when you ain't got no help, when it's just you. So, this is the video. And I hope you guys like it and try the purple onions. Peace out, y'all.